Torah says in Devarim 23.15, your camp must be kept holy. So the sages asked, what exactly does your camp mean? They say it means any place where a person prays or studies Torah. The place that a person prays or studies has to be fit to be able to engage in such holy matters. We aren't allowed to speak or even think about Torah while in a restroom or anywhere else that's unclean. For example, the Talmud says that a person isn't allowed to say the Shema while walking through a street that's exposed to sewage or any bad smell. And if a person did, they would need to stop until they passed it. If he does this, the sages say, his reward will be, as the Torah says in Devarim 32.17, you will live long lives. It's forbidden to speak about any Torah topic in any unclean place in any language, not only in Hebrew. So, a good way to distract a person from thinking about Torah in an unclean place is to occupy your mind with mundane thoughts like business or expenses, anything that won't have someone thinking about uh, Torah for the time being. So, a good way to distract a person from thinking about Torah in unclean places is to occupy your mind with mundane thoughts like business or expenses, anything that won't have someone thinking about Torah for the time being. If it's Shabbat, when thinking about business or things like that doesn't exactly give Shabbat the greatest honor, other subjects like architecture or science is more preferable. We also aren't allowed to learn Hebrew grammar while in a restroom, uh, since the way to learn it the correct way is to compare it to verses in the Torah, and for obvious reasons, this can lead a person to think about Torah. It's allowed to think about the lowliness of human beings, how they eat and excrete just like animals, and about how eventually, one day, we will be returned to the soil and be consumed by worms. Also, these kinds of thoughts help a person lower feelings of haughtiness. In the Magid Misharim, the angel instructs Rabbi Yosef Karo that he has to direct all his thoughts towards developing love and fear of Hashem all the time. Uh, even in a place where it's unclean, he should think about his lowliness. The Nefesh HaChaim likewise says that it's allowed to think about developing proper character traits even in places where it's not allowed to think about Torah topics. However, we just have to be careful not to think about Torah passages that relate to these things. It's permitted to learn and pray near the walls of a bathroom that's in a house or a building. A person isn't allowed to pray uh, or learn within six feet of the toilet if the bathroom door is open. We aren't allowed to pray if the toilet is within sight. It's forbidden to pray within six feet of the walls of a mobile bathroom or external bathroom building. One may not pray or learn when this bathroom is within sight and even if the bathroom is clean of any excrement.